don't have no time for that. You're going to use this for everything. Forget all that. You're making salad dressing. All right? So we're going to take some more garlic. Now you knew that was coming. I mean, come on. Okay? So we're going to peel the garlic yet again. Now, even though I'm using a bottle dressing, I'm going to give you a tip. Whenever you're cooking with anything that's pre-made, okay? So let's say you bought a really great jar of spaghetti sauce. And you're like, how can I really improve on that? You absolutely can, okay? What you do is look at the ingredients on that bottle or that box, okay? So if you look on the bottle of, you know, you've got here oil, water, Parmesan, Romano, okay? You've got vinegar, you've got salt, all right? So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna pick one of those ingredients and add it fresh. And what happens is the fresh flavor takes away any connotation of anything processed. So if you buy a, a jar of raw, you know, spaghetti sauce, okay, add some fresh basil and a good little olive oil after you heat it up. Mm -hmm. And it totally makes it even 100% better, <clears throat> okay? So anything you're buying that's pre-fab, add one or two of those ingredients to it fresh, totally changes everything, okay? So we're gonna take our Caesar salad dressing, we're going to add it to Manuel. Now, Manuel cannot, he only likes to get wet from the bottom down. <laughs> I know what I said. Okay. <laughs> it was not meant to come out that way. <laughs> but it did. And I too am the present, and there's no DVR. <laughs> Sorry, people. Okay. So what I mean by that is, you do not ever submerge the top. You're going to take a soapy sponge, just like I'm doing, rinse it this way, towel dry it, put this part away. Keep the handle down. Because if you open it, even though we have little sealers, water is going to get in. And you're going to hear sloshing. You don't want that. Okay? All right? The other two components, right into your dishwasher. Okay? That's my thing. Oh. I, mean, I always can tell by smelling it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Oh, Oh, All right. Now, <laughs> so I've got my garlic in here. What is another ingredient that's in Parmesan cheese? I mean, the Caesar Parmesan cheese. So away we go. All right. One ounce of hard Parmesan cheese is going to give you a cup. Believe it or not, a grated cheese. So that's going to go in. I don't know what the hell. I have little bitties. Let's throw them in it. All right? Why not? What did I put on the steak? Garlic and herb. All right. Going in. You're carrying the flavors all the way through. If you're making a beautiful balsamic vinaigrette, oh my God, it will not break. It will not break. You put the oil, the vinegar, the garlic, everything. It will not separate if you do it in here. I kid you not. Okay? We've got a beautiful, so have a spatula. We've got a beautiful dressing. You are not gonna find the garlic in here. You're not gonna find anything but amazing flavor on a bottled salad dressing. Salad dressing done. Green done. We're turning off the heat on the steak and letting it sit there to rest. Do not go near this meat for at least 10 minutes. I will find you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And those are beautiful green mm -hmm. into our large serveware <coughs> bowl. This is a serving for one. <laughs> okay. Look at this gorgeous, crispy. Now, I'm going to give you a little quick. One of the things when you become a <coughs> chef and you're going to open your own restaurant, you, if you're the chef owner, and your wine chef have to go to a 12, 14 hour class. It's a one day class and you have to pass this test in order to get your certification. Even though you're, you went to culinary school or you're a good chef, you cannot run a food business without passing this test. I administer this test, okay? There is one question out of 100 questions that you learned all this during the day, okay? <clears throat> this question is, 
There are three things on your menu. Alfalfa and bean sprouts, tossed salad, or undercooked beef or poultry. Which one of these items will land your customers in the ER? Bean sprouts. It's actually bean sprouts and alfalfa. Number two is salad. Okay? Now, how many times have you gone to a restaurant, you had dinner, you came home, and a couple of hours later, you're like, oh, I don't feel good. Your first thought is, oh, I ate too much. No, you probably had a salad for a meal or as a starter. Now, if you're normal age and healthy, no big deal, you feel fine. You've got older parents, somebody fighting an illness, weakened immune systems, young children, they're gonna land in the ER, okay? So you wanna make sure your greens are clean, okay? And how can you tell if you're at a restaurant that's passing these things? Have ever, anybody ever worked in a commercial kitchen? When you're chopping up lettuce, it goes into either a bus pan, okay, or into a three-bay sink, and it's floating in water. I'm gonna tell you, as a chef, owner of restaurants, I'm not the one making your salad. Your staff is coming in, they're reaching in, filling the bowl, they're, giving, they're telling me what meat they want me to cook for your salad, mm -hmm. okay? So how can you tell that your restaurant is well-rated, okay? Order the salad dry. Push it back. When it comes to you, if there is water at the base, do not eat that salad. I kid you not. Okay? Mm. You know how many restaurants I've closed down as a health inspector because of their salad station? Okay? I never order Chinese food with bean sprouts. I always tell them, no, thank you. I'm not kidding. Because that, unless you wash them yourself and make sure they were clean, you're going to get sick. Okay? That's why it's always number one on most contaminated food. All right? Okay? So, always make sure. Now, let's build our salad, shall we? Our meat is resting. Mm -hmm. oh, that's gonna be good. Now, if anybody, this is gonna be rare to medium, do we wanna go a little longer? Who's a well done person? I, I'll do whatever though. I, I'm. Oh, let's do, we'll give a few minutes. You can do a couple pieces well done. I don't want everybody to be well done. Sorry. I want to take one for the or team. Or take one some red meat. No, fine. No. Okay, so we'll go ahead. We're going to take our closing cut. <clears throat> I mean, you are right. you're going to fall in love with my quick slice again. Because when you see what I'm going to do with that. But this is like the biggest time saver. Remember how I told you I love my English muffins grilled instead of toasted? I have a texture issue. Like you will never ever see me eating chips. Okay, the only reason I had nachos yesterday for lunch was because they were covered in nice cheese and they were soft with the brisket on it. Just saying. Okay, now, I want to slice up all the, these tomatoes. I'm a very impatient person. I'm not lying. That's the honest to God truth. I don't want to have the time to go and do these by hand. I'm going to put my um, tomatoes in. These are nice and flexible. So I took that beautiful chicken you saw me make earlier. They were this thick. Put them in, sliced across, perfect cutlets. I could use my meat tenderizer, but I wanted them to have a little bit of thickness to them, but I wanted them to also cook with three minutes on each side. So I used the, came across. You can buy this by itself or with our color-coded knife as a set, okay? So we're gonna take our, any good quality knife, our German Santoku, we're gonna push down and we're gonna come straight back. And you have your tomatoes sliced in half, okay? So this is like, you're gonna use it cutting bagels into fourths. You're gonna go ahead and take your thick chicken breast. If you go to Costco or BJ's, they have the pork loin steaks, but they're about this thick. You wanna cut them thinner, you wanna make a stir fry with it. Go straight through across. You're gonna go ahead and do your cherry tomatoes, your grapes for the kids, your black olive. The best thing ever for Brussels sprouts, instead of cutting them by hand. This thing is the best time saver you've got in your kitchen, along with that quick slice, all right? We're gonna start presenting our salad now. So we're going to have a group of tomatoes. You always eat with your eyes first. Make things look pretty. All right? It'll cover a lot of sins. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I don't know why you don't like it. It looks awesome. Okay. All right. So now I know you've been watching me now, and I'm at my stopping point. And so I'm going to take this minute while I'm doing the rest of assembling the salad. Now, how many of you have been to other shows besides mine and you bought some of these products? I hope you learned something new. If not, do you have any <laughs> questions I can help you with now? 
about a product you bought at another show. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Now, what product really jumped out of you? Okay. So, Jody, what product you go? Oh my God, I gotta have this in my kitchen. The quick slice. Right. Mm -hmm. This is one of those time-saving hand tools. But if you're gonna do the quick slice, invest in the veggie wedger at the same time. <coughs> it's you a totally different thing you're looking for, but equally amazing time saver. Okay? Anything, Doreen, what with one product you don't have yet? Oh, I gotta have that grill pan. Right, okay. Now the grill pan, you have already ideas of what you're gonna do with it? Oh, everything you said, plus, uh, you know, in winter Think time, it's snowing outside, I'm grilling a steak for dinner. Right, okay. You know, I mean, of course, at it for a minute here, we would jump into the grill, but seriously, I'd rather... Well, yeah, more now, well, if that weren't here, yeah. This is more expensive. All right, tomatoes go on. We're going to take our onion. All right, remember what I did with the onion beforehand? I'm going to do it again here. I'm going to quarter. And I can go ahead and use my, my slicer, or I can come right down. And do it this way. Don't ever try this with a whole onion, mm. but if you quarter or cut the onions, you can go ahead and do it just like this. Okay? Now you can also, like I told you, take back your cook slicer, your simple slicer, number 1099 here. Put it up. I don't need that much. Turn off the steak now? Or? Yes, turn it off. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and again, if I wanted them to match the thickness of that, I just go one, two, or three, depending on what I'm making. When I'm done, it's gonna go right into your dishwasher or hot soapy water, if your name is that. Okay, again, don't feel bad for us, you're doing a lot of good stuff. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna take our avocado, because it's not a steak and avocado salad without steak and avocado, which the hostess did not buy. Wow. Okay, so we had a glorified toss salad. Okay. Now, people make the biggest mistake when they're buying an avocado. Here's a little trivia question for you. What is the original name of avocado when they were first discovered? Alligator fruit. Alligator fruit. Yeah. Alligator pear. Exactly. Sorry. Yep. It resembles a pear, pear and it's got the alligator skin. Oh. Okay? Oh. How do you know when an avocado is ripe? It's not when you can squeeze it and your fingers go through it. Right? You're not eating that. Okay? These are perfectly ripe. I can push in, but it releases back to me. Okay? So you're going to come in, remove the pit. Okay? Now, let me tell you a little secret here when you're cooking. Okay? If you're calling a recipe something and it's got key ingredients in the name of it, make sure those are the dominant ingredients, okay? So if you're doing an avocado salad, make sure there's avocado, okay? Out comes the avocado knife, all right? You know the best way to tell if an avocado is ripe when you cut it in half the way that I just did, okay? And if there's a lot of fruit on the pit, it's not ripe, okay? If it's covered, it needs another day or two. This one is actually a little overripe. Okay, you can tell because the um, the pit came out all by itself. It didn't have, it didn't need the knife to come out. All right. So now that quick slice, guys, number eleven eighty one. You saw it do chicken. I told you that it will do your onions, your red peppers for fajitas. It will slice all of your fresh mozzarella, your cheddar cheese, your Monterey Jack, your Colby. It's gonna do the beautiful tomatoes to go with your fresh mozzarella for a caprese, okay? It will do all of that, okay? That's the whole thing about investing in an item like this, okay? It is gonna save you so much time in your kitchen. So we're gonna do our avocados. Notice how I'm putting them on the bias, okay? Come down into your hand and fan. Okay, on the bias, come down into your hand and fan. You can, you can cube, go ahead and cube if you're a cube kind of person. All right. 
Now, I know there's a couple of you, or probably more, and why wouldn't you want to have a show? Everybody does. It's a smart thing to do, okay? I want you to pay attention to what we made here, and I want you to think about what products that you want in your kitchen, and that's what I want you to base your menu choices on when I send it to you. Like Anna Lee wanted these recipes because she knew she was getting that all-purpose pan. Okay, so I wanted to teach her another great recipe for that. So keep that in mind when you book your date. Come in and get, we can do a death by chocolate. We can do a chocolate cheese and wine party. We can go ahead and do fajitas and margaritas. We can go ahead and do Chinese cooking. Oh my God, I can show you how to make the best wushu pork or your ramen bowls. We make Chinese those all food. the time. We <laughs> live on it. You know, we can show you how to make the best beef and broccoli, authentic flavors, anything you want to do. We could do, you know, Lebanese food. I do that all the time because it's really a wonderful way to eat the Mediterranean diet. It does a gorgeous job. Um, and these tools, my God, do they, do they come into play? All right. Avocados are going to go there. Let me clean up here real quick. Going everywhere. Um, the eggs, I'm going to just uh, use the quick slide. I'll use the veggie wedger. It's fine. Huh? Okay. Yeah. I like to show you, you know, different versatility. We can do the quick slice, but this does it just as well. Hmm. Okay. Get that right out of there. Do yourself a favor. Get the steamer attachment. <coughs> I need the quick slice. I'm doing a crappy job. All right, here we go. You don't even really have to clean it, it's the same recipe. Okay. 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 Thank you. Now we need to replace some of your tools, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Your eggs. about this cutting board. Here we go. Over here. Bacon. Oh my gosh. I don't like it. Get a picture of that one too. Hmm? She gets the steak on and get a picture. Get a picture. Bacon. How much bacon is a stupid question. How much did you invest in? Then double it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to take our steak. We've let it rest. That beautiful marking on it. Oh my gosh. Look at my gorgeous pan juices. Where do you think those are going? Right on the steak. Fold in, come through. Perfectly cooked. Every time. Looks gorgeous. Thank you so much for sharing. My pleasure. Now, I usually like my steak a little rarer than this for a steak salad. So just keep that in mind, guys. We do four minutes, it's a perfect medium Sorry. rare. No, no, I'm just saying, you know, it's a preference, okay? I would have totally taken a red one. Carry on next year, I vote for the Chinese. Me too. Sure. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get oh, that email goodness. with all the recipes. <laughs> all right, that nice and warm on there. This is your perfect summer recipe. She's good. It's I mean, it's what we so do. gorgeous. Anytime, but Everywhere. such a, a great summer recipe. So you would do both of these recipes at a party? Yes, and I would normally be done within that one hour. I was just covering a little bit more. Well, we were asking some yeah. questions, too. Yeah. So what do you... Um, 
So what platter would you use for the salad? With the, the, I use the bowl. The, she uses this. Bowl. Yeah, but if you do both these recipes at the same time, do you bring two bowls? bowls? Because I like to show them the versatility yes. of that same one yes. product. Yes. But you know what you could do too is I would use even the rock rock, the flat stone. The oh yeah, stone. absolutely. absolutely. Oh yeah, then you have for the more salad. of a surface. Well, because yep. when we told Jean when she was at our um, launch last year that we don't have that big bowl anymore, right? And she's like, oh, so I bet you that's coming like probably next season because we were too late in telling her that. Because that platter Which is like bowl? awesome. Oh yeah. Platter. Unfortunately, it's not here anymore. I mean, it's such a great platter. You need a big platter. But I would use the grill piece. Oh my gosh, the grill looks piece. amazing. It's great. And you, or the white one, because that's pretty too. Okay. <laughs> Smile. Right here. Here you go. Oh, she's drizzling. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, seriously. Well, so that is your steak and avocado salad. And I feel like I'm forgetting it a real, but it should be okay. There you go, guys. Break down. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Asiago, did you want the Asiago for something? No, normally I dress the salad for them, but I'll let you guys just put on as much or as little as you would like. I normally will drizzle it so it's coated well. But there's always people that want more dressing, less dressing, so it's just better. What about the Asiago? Is that what you need? Oh, that's what I know. We're getting a ingredient. Thank there's you. Like, there's still in the package. Yeah. Well, what do you do? I mean, because you do, I mean, I used to do a lot more food than I do now. But what do you do when you get into a house that is not this kind of kitchen? Oh, I've done these in, on a folding table in a living room. Yeah. You're good, so you then. That would make me crazy. Help you. Exactly. Somebody's my runner. Yeah. Right, because yeah. I'd, I'd be in that case. Yeah. 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 No, I, no, I'm the same <laughs> I mean, way because I won't, I won't leave my station. So me I either. assume that you must use like a runner or your host. I do. Right. I use I my host. Yeah, I don't want to leave. And then I ask somebody, you know, you know who I always use? 16 years, I've never seen anybody take the Uh-uh. Are you serious? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Never. Never. I've done a taco, a taco time. bar. I know. This is all about. That's right. That is right. <clears throat> okay, now just I don't want to like bum anybody out, but just remember we're eating again mm -hmm. in like three, five hours. So, yeah. so just pace yourself, everybody. That's ah, five hours. Come on. What an amateur. Come on. Okay, so you can do this with Parmesan cheese. I just love the flavor of the Asiago on here. Mm -hmm. That is dressing is awesome. Thank you. All right, guys.